Hey there! So today we are going to see how to live capture your motion like so. So this is going to change your life a little bit. Bear with me because this is going to be so easy and also very satisfying. <laughs> Type series by Hulk 79. So let's go for it. I have here a text layer, a beautiful A set on Neue has grotesque 55 Roman. Uh, we are going to be using the puppet tool here. So this was made to create uh, deformations and really complex or fancy animations, but we are going to hack it. And uh, we are going to use it to live capture our the motion from your pen or your uh, mouse, whatever you are using. So let's select it. And yeah, whenever you are on top of the shape itself, you have this pin. Okay, so the cursor changes to that. That means that you can add uh, a pin over the shape of the letter here so it doesn't change a great deal where you create it but yeah I'm going to create it on the bottom left so yeah that's that and that's all what we need so then you see that whenever you don't have the effect here the puppet effect selected you deselect it everything kind of disappears but it is only a matter of selecting the effect and then you are going to see here the pin and all okay so then also on the top you have some different controls or settings that at the moment we are going we are not going to deal with so leave them as they are and it all comes to being on top of the pin okay you see that it changes the the icon to this move tool okay so now all comes to holding down on control and you see that we have the stopwatch that means that from this moment onwards uh, you can start dragging around your letter and all that if you hit U now is going to be stored here all the motion you created is going to be there let's preview it so that's great because yeah it's a very very easy and quick way to record the motion of your mouse but then obviously you can select all your keyframes and with, with alt or option on a mac you can make them slower or change anything in there even you can obviously like select any of the points and change uh, the path of motion so very very cool way to record your motion i'm going to undo everything so that we can dig a little bit deeper on some of the aspects of this technique. Another important aspect of this is that whenever you are on the timeline, that's when when you create the pin, okay, here for example, uh, you see that if we go down, you see that a keyframe is going to be always created at that particular point. Also, from that point of onwards is where or better said when your motion capture is going to be created so again we hold on control and we drag this thing around this beautiful letter uh, so that's the thing so just to be aware of that i'm going to uh, again erase all this thing the effect itself which is the puppet i'm going to go to the beginning so just be aware of that that uh, and I'm going to create the pin in another place so that you see that it is not a big difference in terms of the technique itself so I'm going to create it on the top here if we click U, you see that uh, 
the first keyframe is there we can even get rid of that and then start creating uh, or recording our motion whenever you want on the timeline for example in second two here so again I go over the pin I hold on control and I move the letter around and even if you want to create a loop you can select the first keyframe and paste it at the end of it and that would be that so tons of possibilities uh, I'm already thinking about a more advanced way of applying this to uh, a word for example so that you can see that we can generate different pins so for each letter but I think this, has, this is a very interesting hack to the Puppet tool. Thanks for watching the tutorial. Please remember that I have this Buy Me A Coffee webpage link below where you can treat me if you, if you fancy. I would appreciate it a lot. Thanks again and see you in the next one. Kinetic Kinetic series by Hulk 79.